morning, but you can't see me. It's uh, just gone six o'clock in this very cold little camper van um, in the middle of Glencoe Mountains. We're gonna go out and see if we can get a sunrise. We'll catch up with you in a little while. sunrise it looks pretty gorgeous out here um, I went for a bit of a recce last night to see if I could find somewhere for a good photograph now I went down the bottom and took some pictures on me Fuji um, handheld bracketed it was really nice there's a little shed down there and um, yeah it was pretty cool so I took some pictures of me of me Fuji oh there's a lorry oh I took some pictures on my Fuji and uh, I took some on my phone and they look they look amazing. So I'm just hoping that I can put, well they look amazing on my phone. Um, I'm just hoping that I can put them together right for you on the Fuji. Um, I had it in automatic. I know, I know, I know, don't swear. Shouldn't, shouldn't shoot in automatic but I was only walking around for a recce. Um, I was going to go back down there this morning but on the way back up to the van last night there was this little boggy area and I went to step over it what I thought was maybe just a, an inch or so and as I stepped over it my second foot or my first foot should I say the foot forward went in up to my knee and lucky I had the momentum carried forward to pull it back out again with my other leg as it went over the top otherwise I'd still be there now uh, it scared me a bit, it made my heart stop for a second as my leg just disappeared into the ground. So I'm not going down there this morning, not until I'm awake. Um, awake properly. The colours behind me over the mountain, I'm going to spin you around so to show you the mountain over the other side where the sun's rising. Over there. Quite beautiful. So we're just walking along the edge of the road. There was another composition I found looking towards these mountains to my right. Um, there's a, the river snakes down and up against the edge of the road where I'm walking there's a bit of a gully. So it seems to take your eye all the way in and into these. And I'm thinking if the sun's rising that way, we're going to get some light over them. So I'm gonna make my way down here, set the camera up, and uh, talk you through it. It's chilly this morning, but that warm colour from the sun gives you a little bit of a, a warm sense and a warm feeling. So just got to watch these cars. These drivers aren't probably fully awake yet. So excuse me for sniffing, but it is chilly. Right. This is the composition I've got set up. Oh, this is the composition. I'm going to set up, if I spin you around now, you'll see what I mean, and uh, hopefully we'll get some colour on the mountains, if you can see this, snakes out all the way down and through into the mountains, so this is the composition I think, and the wind's blowing straight at me, that's nice isn't it? Alright, uh, we've got the camera out, we've got ourselves set up, uh, we're looking down now, we've got this this gully running down, reaching the river, and then the river snakes off all the way down into the mountains, and you've got the three peaks of the mountains. Um, I put me 16 to 35 on, um, slightly wider angle lens, and I've got the option then just to go to slightly wider. The 24 wasn't quite enough just to bring a little bit of this more foreground in. Um, the oranges have gone out the sky now, over in the distance, but we've got these wispy clouds blowing this way. We've got clouds up on the top of the mountains which are quite nice. Um, I've taken a test shot image to make sure that it sort of almost looks right in camera. Uh, so I'll have a play with that, see if I can get anything out of that and then I'm just going to wait now and see if the light peers over that mountain over the back there. Uh, sun rises in about, I don't know, five, ten minutes I think it is. I might have a drop of coffee just to warm myself up. I can see the glow in the mountains over there, it's pretty cool. So if it hits the top of these, we'll be a happy boy. 
Stand by for an epic photograph. <laughs> now I've said that, we're not going to get one, are we? Uh, hopefully, this is my next, my second morning in Glencoe. We're off to the Isle of Skye this morning. Um, once I've been down to Glencoe and had a shower, a pound for a shower, perfect if you're camping up this way. Remember that. Go down to the Glencoe Ski Resort, get yourself a shower for a quid. Um, and I definitely need one. Woohoo! Right, I'm going to shut up talking, wait for that sun to rise, and I'll turn you back on when I take the image. Catch you in a bit. Well, what can I say? Uh, there's cloud building up over there where the sun is. The sun's been up now, it's got to be up 10 minutes. I can see the light behind the clouds, but it's just not breaking. It's not giving me what I'm looking for. It's not, it's not giving me any light on these mountains whatsoever. It's just not happening. It's not playing. Am I gutted? Honestly? <laughs> yeah, mega gutted. <laughs> Am I upset? Honestly? Mm, yeah, a little. Um, I don't know whether sometimes landscape photographers are really honest, but I do get really pissed off and really stressed when I don't get these good images. I see so many amazing, amazing photographs and I want to do and try and, and strive to be as good. And I'm always constantly learning. I'm constantly on the battle with myself just to, just to get those really classic, nice, nice classy images um, with good light. Um, so yeah, when I do sort of put some effort into it and it doesn't go right, I get a little bit down and a little bit upset. But within a couple of minutes, I've picked myself back up again. We're going up to Sky today, so we'll see what Sky brings for us. Um, but uh, so right, um, I'll take one more here and I'll stand around for another few minutes. If I get an image with some colour in it, I'll show you that one as well as uh, you know these these couple of test shots or whatever. Um, but for now, I'm going to check out. I'll head back for the band in a minute. Get myself a something to breakfast, a bit of porridge probably, and uh, I'll catch up with you a bit later on. Don't be down if you don't get a good image, even though I was up at six, standing here in the freezing cold, and we didn't get it, but one will come along eventually. Just got back to the van, the wife's up. <laughs> She's got her teddy bear suit on. And there's a, is it Valley Walker? Commented on one of my videos a couple of weeks ago. Uh, great video, thanks to Paul and Denise. Hello, <laughs> Paul, <Today>. wife. <laughs> anyway, off the sky. So after a shower, that is. I've got to go get in I've had my orders. Shower and then, uh, <laughs> Uh, then we'll go to the sky. <laughs> Catch you later. This is for Matthew Stora. Um, massive inspiration to me uh, for this image. Uh, he took this image when he was up in Scotland over Christmas and uh, he wanted this image since a kid when he first saw it on a calendar and he managed to get the image from his drone. I, I spoke to Matthew um, and he emailed me and said, look, you know, go for the image and he wants to see if I managed to get one. So I'm really pleased I managed to get it. It's a bit windy and I had to put it on sports mode just to keep control of it because it was just trying to blow away. So it might be a little bit of an erratic video, but uh, I'm going to show you the image and the images of this bridge behind me. This is the bridge. The only way to get to Glencoe or through Glencoe is to cross this bridge 
and it's epic. And the river that runs through it and the mountain in the background just makes an absolutely stunning photograph. So the photograph come out as well as I hope it does on the camera, um, on the drone, as well as it does on the back of my phone when I was looking at it, then it's going to be pretty, pretty special. Clouds above the, the mountain, black rock or whatever you call it and the leading line from the river and the lovely golden colours from the sunshine on this morning. So this one's for you, Matthew Starr. Enjoy the image. How epic, absolutely fantastic. Like I say, I've had the drone out. I'm gonna get the camera out now. I'm just gonna see if I can get myself an image while the sun's on it. I'm just gonna walk over there, but I've gotta be careful where I put my feet. So I don't wanna end up in a bog again, and this is really boggy down here. So get the camera out, I'm gonna take a quick photograph, and then we're gonna go get our shower just down the road. Speak to you in a bit. All right, let's be careful where we put our feet. No laughing if I go up to my knees. Wasn't funny. That wasn't funny earlier on, or well, last night. <laughs> I did actually wet myself a little bit. Right, here's the river. So I'm gonna set up somewhere along here just to get this image. And I think that little bit just there will do me just nicely. Right, let's climb down in the riverbed. As long as we don't have a, a big flood in a minute. We'll be fine. Um, got to get this photo. This is quite nice. Um, as long as the colours come back out, we've got some lovely, lovely cloud above the um, above the mountain. I'm in a bit of a, a rush state. I'm not in a very static state. The clouds, the sun's gone in behind the clouds. I'm a bit gutted by that. The riverbed's a bit slippy. I might have to go out a little bit deeper just to get this standing in the river with me wellies on that will do me i think that's quite nice and i've got a rock in the bottom left corner i've got the bridge on the rule of thirds line and i've got a, the river leading through um, from the left as well f11 right i'm gonna have to take one under and one over so i'm gonna take one under for now a uh, hundred for a second i saw a hundred that's going to give me the sky and I'm going to take it up a little just so it's clipping the highlights and off the blacks. That should give me some detail in the rocks in the foreground. Um, I'm going to try and get out a little bit further, but first, before I do that, I'm just going to right, I'll put my polarizer on just to see if I can take the glare off the water. Uh, it's a shame the sun's gone behind the cloud because two seconds ago, as you've seen by the drone image, it looked absolutely amazing. But now, like I say, it's uh, gone a bit flat. But not every day you get to stand in a river. Now, I don't want to actually take the glare off the water now I've got it on. That is a beautiful image. I'm going to take this because the colours are just immense at the moment. About 20 mil. Uh, mountain on the left third. Bridge in the middle. Big rock and boulder in the foreground here. Um, river running you right through the image. If I could just get, I'm going to take a little bit of glare off the water. And I think that's going to be it for me, for here. So uh, I'll leave you with these images. Enjoy them, and uh, I'll speak to you a bit later on, I'm sure.
started snowing, getting these off odd drifts of snow. So um, we've been told that the snow's on its way. Oh well, big could be some white photographs coming up. But for now, we must plod on. Keep going. Epic mountains, are we? <laughs> right, back in the van. Shut her up and away we go. Now this is the view. Check that out. How amazing is that? So we're gonna mark this one down on the map as somewhere to stop. I wouldn't park on this bit of the road, but definitely down there and walk up. We might not be doing it on this trip, but we'll definitely be doing it someday. Look at the mountains and the bridge and it's leading all the way through the image. So, a bit of beautiful coloured sky. How epic would that be? Anyway, come on, back in the van again. Ugh. See if I can get down a bit closer and I'll get a picture for you. I've taken a couple of photographs from here, but and look at the weather we're leaving. Well, well, it's coming after us right across here. That looks like it's coming to get us. But yeah, that's the bridge to sky. Let's get going again. Uh, we had a first stop off as well this is where we plan on stopping tonight just up the road uh, about 500 yards half a mile if that um, and this is our first port of call one of these images I've wanted for a while and another inspiration from Matthew Stora so uh, I think you'll find I'll be doing all the images Matthew Stora did this weekend. But no, this is, this is the image, the bridge. There's a lot of people around at the moment, so if we don't get it now, be prepared to be down here first thing in the morning. So uh, let's have a look around, see if I can set up a composition and uh, get the camera out and see what we can do with it. Well, set up for my first image. Um, I've taken one uh, horizontally there's people in it at the moment, they're just coming across the bridge and the kids are playing. But I've taken one horizontally with a bridge right across in front of the mountain range. Um, I don't know the name of the mountain range, I'll pop the mountain range up or I'll pop it in the description below. Um, this is just stunning, you've got the river running in, I've got a polarised one to take a bit of the glare off the water. Um, I've got a nine stop soft ND grad just to bring the sky down a little bit. Uh, lots of mood in it, I'm going to try and get the bridge as sharp as possible because I want to pop out all the detail if I can in the bridge. Um, and in all these colours in the rocks if I can because there's lots of little bits of coppery colour and oranges in it. The kids are just hopping across the stones which is pretty awesome underneath the bridge. They're really quite brave, braver than me. But that's kids for you. Um, I'll be impressed if they can get all the way across. Um, as for the image, I'm on F9. I'm going to change it actually now I've looked at it. F11 because I want depth in it. I want it sharp front to back if I can. And I'm just exposing just, just under the highlights on the histogram. Two second timer, uh, F11, ISO 100, bridges on the thirds, lead in line from the water coming in, sky's nicely muted with a ND grad. Really, really nice. I'm going to flip it over now, 
put this, because we've got this lovely dark cloud, I'm going to flip the camera over, so I have to put you down, flip the camera over onto a um, horizontal shot, take another shot of that, and then I'm going to move up, up, up river a little bit um, and find something else and then get the drone out because the wind's died down, I think. Mind you, I'm stood behind the bridge, so back in a bit. Set the camera up again. I've just come up to the top, uh, right next to the road, which is really easy. If you're ever on the sky and you want this shot, the parking is about 200 yards away. You can walk along the edge of the arm coat and stand exactly where I am. Uh, the image I've got set up: I've got the mountains in the top thirds. I've got the sky held in with the nine-stop soft ND grad. Um, I've got the polarizer on. It's taken a little tiny bit of the glare off the water, but in all fairness, I wanted to keep that, you know, the white, the reflection, just. It shows a line leading up from the bottom right hand side. Bridges, in, bridges on the bottom thirds, I'm at F11 again. ISO 100, I've got people on the bridge and they're just moving. So keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, I'm gonna get myself a selfie. I'm gonna go down on the bridge and I'm gonna leave the camera in the cable van to Denise. I'm back. Before I go back to the van, Denise has just run back off to the van to put the kettle on and make a cup of tea. Dan's come to say hello. Hi. Dan's uh, been walking down the bottom and he was going to get a photograph from down the bottom and I waved him up here because as I said before down there is no good it's just the bridge is just cutting out the mountains so he's up here he's going to set his camera up now and he's going to take this classic image that's going to blow everybody away uh, <laughs> and last night he was camping somewhere up there so he's one brave chap definitely one brave chap his legs are tired though. His legs, his legs are tired. So anyway, I'm going to cut back to the van and get me a cup of tea. Ciao. Hello and uh, goodbye, I think. Uh, we've just parked up. We've just driven up only about half a mile up the road. Um, parked up for the night. We've got the heater going at last. Uh, we've got a new Ledger battery fitted today. So we've got the heating in the van, which is working great. And we've got lights again. So we're parked up for the night. We've had some tea, nice bit of cheese on toast, nice cup of coffee and a cup of hot chocolate as well to wash that coffee down. I know, it doesn't make sense, but I did. Um, yep, that's it for tonight. That's it for today. Please tune in for the next one. Um, we're heading to the old man's store tomorrow. Um, so yeah, please tune in for the next one. And again, I'm going to go through it all. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, share this video. As you know, I'm quite down to earth, quite straightforward with the stuff I do. And I hope you've learned something from it. The weather was a bit changeable. Um, yeah, I've got no signal tonight, so I can't do anything apart from go to sleep. So in the next 15 minutes, I'll probably be in bed. So I'm going to say goodbye, say goodnight, and I'll catch you on the next one tomorrow. Oh, don't forget to comment. Ciao.